Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toast, and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video. And today, we're gonna take on Asiko's Revenge Elite, and this is the party we are bringing on. So, we're bringing a friend Sephiroth. Unfortunately, uh, it doesn't have Petrify Resist, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna be able to go through it, so we want to do as much light damage as possible. So, Sephiroth is gonna be our friend unit, our damage unit, damage dealer, sorry. We're bringing Hyo and uh, he's with the Excalibur because I want to be able to dish out more light damage since the boss uh, is basically resistant to all the elements except light. Uh, this right here, the light damage is going to be really, really, really good. Then, Merc Ramza is going to be our Provoke Tank. Uh, this, is what you, this is what you want to do, guys. Build as much spirit on him since on uh, turn one, uh, I forgot her name. Uh, Asiko is gonna cast uh, Berserk on your IS Spirit unit. So this is what Merc Rams is gonna be there. He's gonna be able to draw the attention and guess what? He is just amazing. So this is what I have on him. The abilities, stats, BAM! This guy is gonna be solid since you cannot put any ailments on him. Uh, then we're gonna bring Fina, Nicole and uh, the boy. Yes, the boy right here, Ignis. Uh, why two buffers? You guys will see exactly why. Nicole is going to be able to give me a lot of MP since I did put a lot of MP on him. Since on uh, turn one, Asiko is just going to drain all kinds of MP and uh, you'll see exactly what I'm able to do. And let's just say that these three guys are going to be a good MP battery for my team and uh, I'll show exactly how we're going to do this. So, without waiting, we're going to go into the fight right now. Hopefully this is going to turn out well. I did the fight maybe two, three times before I really figured out uh, how to build that team. And uh, before I did it with Orlando, but I find the trick, really, you guys will see. Break her. If you break her attack and magic, trust me, she's going to be doing a lot less damage. And also, keep your, um, your, uh, your elemental resistance up, especially for dark. Okay, so that's exactly what we have to do. So, uh, turn one, he's petrified, doesn't really matter. This is what we're going to be doing on turn 1. So we have enough MP to cast Soulful Stance and Magic Restore of it. So we're going to regenerate some MP for the whole party. We're going to boost our stats by 100%, which is really, really good. Uh, Sephiroth like that, not that bad because you guys will see exactly why. Here, we're going to do Analyze. We're going to break the attack and magic by 50%. So this is really, really good. If you guys have CG lid, She's gonna do just fine, but right now, Ignis, you're gonna see that these two guys are gonna be going back and forth non-stop. So, uh, here, actually, uh, I wanna go for... what did I do? What am I gonna do here? Uh, we could probably go for a Prime Heal, actually. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna go so Osmos. We're gonna drain some MP, and right here, Heal. He's just going to go for a regular attack. No worries. No worries, guys. All we have to do is just basically build up our MP. And we're going to be looking mighty damn good. Mighty damn good, super fast. Here's the counters. We're going to be able to uh, evoke an Esper also. No problem. So right here, here's what we're going to do. We have our things up. So we're just going to go MP and MP like this. Boom, to make sure that we're going to be able to attack with this dude. Ignis, we still have our 100% up. We're going to go cooking. On the next turn, we're going to be able to uh, remove the Petrify from uh, Sephiroth, hopefully. And here, we're just going to use Manatopia. Regenerate some MP for the whole party. And this is where we can start dealing a little bit of damage. So once we're going to be able to break his light resistance by 60%, we're going to be dishing out a lot more damage. But for now, just 1%, more than enough uh, here. Still Berserk, still taking the hits, and uh, we're looking good. We're still looking nice and good. So let's see, let's see, let's see what we do on this turn. So like I said guys, most important thing, make sure that she's always broken. That's going to be the one thing. So quick recipe. Do I have enough MP? Sure we do. We're gonna go for this, and we're gonna break. Uh, we're gonna boost our attack and magic. So here, Sephiroth, come back to life. We're gonna uh, nullify the status ailments for three turns. So for the next three turns, we're gonna be good. And here, 
Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we're still boosted by 100%. Nope, doesn't matter. We boosted our attack and magic, we're gonna be good. So here I'm gonna restore some MP. Uh, we're gonna need a lot of MP, so we're gonna go here. MP, MP. Lotus Mage Fina, you know what? Manitopia again. Let's see if we can get enough MP to basically chain, heal, and uh, Sephiroth. Yeah, we're gonna be good. So, dual cast, Servant of the Blade, and we're gonna go Heaven's Wept. And let's see the damage. As long as she's broken, the fight, trust me, is a lot easier. It's a lot easier. So on this turn, he's gonna come back. So we're gonna be able to provoke with uh, Mercenary Ramza. This way, she's always gonna be draining the MP from Merc Ramza. All right. Uh, so Merc Ramza, stone throw. Bam! Throw your stone. We're gonna be good here. On this turn, I'm just gonna recover some MP. Uh, also, we're gonna recover some MP as much as possible. Let's see what we do with Ignis now. She's still broken. Yep, she's broken for another turn. So, because I have this for another two turn, uh, another turn, I'm gonna use uh, Analyze. So I'm gonna break her attack and magic again. So on the next turn, I could do something different. And here, uh, how much MP do I have here? Not that much for an attack. So on the next turn, I'm gonna use the Vine Veil. So we're gonna go Manitopia right now. Bam. We're gonna see. We're gonna see exactly what we do. As long as we keep her broken. And we go back and forth between our units. And uh, we should be good. So the heavens wept. Let's triple cast. Uh, triple cast. Let's uh, let's dual cast both of them. And let's see the damage right now. So we're doing a little bit more. 83% which is really really nice. So she's always going to target him now. Which is really good. We're not going to take that much damage. Since her uh, magic is broken. And on the next turn it's going to hurt even less. Because we're going to bring our dark... Uh, our dark resistance up so how's everything we're looking good we're looking good so Ignis all right let's uh, get some mana back MP right here all right that's good let's make sure that I can't get petrified yep we still have this up so that's really really good quick recipe uh, I want to go for MP and also we're gonna go for uh, this right here because I want to make sure for the next three turns I'm gonna be good our status uh, our, uh, our elements are gonna be up so we're gonna be taking less dark damage and right here we can literally go for guess what Manitopia one more time so we're gonna make sure we're not running out of MP we're gonna defend with this dude and we're gonna get the damage done so not bad of a fight guys once you know the pattern uh, the pattern a little bit uh, we're taking her down nice and slowly but we're controlling the fight see we're taking basically no damage she's broken uh, she's draining a mercenary arms as MP and a little bit of everybody's MP but with these guys right here these three characters we're just bringing our MP back non-stop so this is what we want to do uh, so on this turn now we're going to be doing a little bit more damage. So I'm going to dual cast. Sorry, I'm going really, really fast. We're going to do a double cast the MP recovery. And we're going to be able to dish out a little bit more damage now. Because Ignis is going to go for the big move. 150% to all our stats. Bam. This is going to be dishing out a little bit more damage. And guess what? We are still going for Manitopia. Make sure I can cast that right here. And Merc Ramza, you know what? We're gonna go back to Stone Throw. We're gonna keep it nice and easy. Maybe on the next turn, I should be able to... Uh, I think I will break her again, or I should be good. We're gonna see. We're gonna see exactly what we have to do on the next turn. But let's see how much damage we can do once we're 150% up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 7 star Ignis. He's really good, guys. He is really, really good. He plays a little bit like the, like Nicole, but a little bit differently. Uh, since once you cast the attack uh, and magic up, you get some MP recovery and all this stuff. So, really, 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 really nice. So, Merc Ramza, you're going to block. Uh, what should we do here? Actually, you know what? 
Mm, our MP is looking low. So I think we're gonna go cooking. Because I need to make sure that we're keeping all these things up to make sure that Sephiroth is not gonna get uh, stone, petrified, so should I say. Our stats are up, so we're gonna go for, you know what, MP and MP. That's all we need right now, MP and MP. Let's see how much we can get here. Oh, we're just gonna be missing out a little bit. So we're gonna go for Manitopia one more time. Bam, we're gonna reload. Whoops. We're gonna reload now, and let's get going. Let's get the chain going. If I'm not mistaken, when you get to 40%, make sure that Provoke is going to be on Merc Ramza. Because she's going to be casting Berserk, and you don't want her to cast Berserk on any other character. So that's one thing that's really, really important, guys. So we're keeping the fight nice and easy. Turn 7, she's almost at 50% HP. Let's see what we can do now. Our MP is looking really, really good with Ignis, so we're going to go quick, quick recipe, sorry. Bam. Whoops. We're gonna do this, and you know what? Let's go with that. Our stats are still up, if I'm not mistaken. If I can click, yeah, our stats are still up with this dude. Uh, did I do the right thing? Yeah, so we did this, and we're gonna go with this, so we're gonna be taking less damage. Uh, how's our MP looking? Actually, really, really good. All right. So with him, we're gonna be able to s start boosting uh, our dark, uh, did I do dark resistance? No, we're gonna do dark resistance up. And you know what? Lone stance on, uh, actually, you know what? Let's go MP. Let's go MP. Bam. And let's get some MP back to the team. Boom. Merc Ramza. You're gonna be blocking again. Just wanna make sure your provoke is on. That's really, really important. Yep. Provoke's on. We're gonna defend. And you, my dear friend, uh, we're gonna go for Divine Veil, just for fun. Boom, let's get the damage going right now. Bam, and bam, 44%, so we're doing good. We're actually doing really, really good. Different team, I love, actually, I really love using these three characters together. They fit so well together, and Merc Ramza, you know what, just taking all the damage, getting his MP drain. But he's still really, really good. Really, really nice. Uh, so on this turn, <coughs> Mr. Ignis, quick recipe. We're going to boost our attack and magic plus defense and spirit. Mr. Nicole, we're going to wait. Actually, with Nicole, we're going to be casting our, uh, our Esper because we do need to cast an Esper in this fight. We're going to go... The Evans Wept, and on the next turn, if I'm still good, I'm gonna be casting a recipe with uh, the boy. With the boy. So right here, everything's looking really, really good. Actually, I gotta make sure that she's still broken. Yeah, attack and magic still broken. You know what? Just in case, I'm gonna use Chaos Grenade. Bam. Just in case, we're gonna cast Phoenix. We're not gonna let this play. We're gonna go boom. Just want to make sure that she's going to be broken. Even if just by 35%, 35% is better than nothing, guys. It's actually really, really nice. So she's draining Ignis, doing a big move. And she berserked uh, Lotus Mage Fina. So our Provoke was not on. This is where I actually messed up. Doesn't matter. We're going to be good. We're still going to be good. They're attacking non-stop. Uh, how's that looking? Lower magic. Good. So our stats are up, which is okay. We're going to go for MP recovery for the whole party. We're going to be dishing out a little bit less damage, if I'm not mistaken. But we should be good. Alright, so we're going to go right here. Mm. Should I use this? We have two more turns before we can cast our 150. So I'm going to go for... Uh, let me see, let me see. You know what? We're going to take that turn. Uh, I would rather go with uh, with this right here to make sure that Creamy Risotto is gonna be up. I think that's the most. I think that's the best thing to do right now. Just go Creamy Risotto because I won't have enough to cast this right. Wait, 
50. Yeah, that's gonna be 98. Hmm. Actually, let's get the let's get the damage going first, and see exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna need more MP. If I do this, I'm gonna get 20 MP right off the bat. You know what? We're just gonna go for one. Servant of the Blade, Heaven's Wept. Let's see how much damage they both do together. Bam, 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 bam. Get the chain. Not that bad. Not that bad. And defense is up. Magic and spirit is up. Perfect. So on this turn, you know what? I'm just gonna cast this. I think that's the best thing to do. For the next three turns, we're just gonna make sure that uh, our uh, Sephiroth doesn't get petrified. So we should be good for the fight. How's everybody looking? Good. She's draining, draining, draining. Not that bad. And Sephiroth just counters. Great. And we get a massive heal from CG Fina. Which is more than perfect. Alright, let me drink some water. Oh, actually, Ignis got Berserk too. Hmm. Not that good, that. Not that good. Uh, how's everybody looking? So everything's up, which is not that bad. Uh... Hmm, hmm, hmm. What should we do here? We're gonna go for... You know what? Sophost... Uh, we're gonna recover some MP. Or I can just shark kick. Ignis. Should we do this? We're gonna do this. We're gonna target Ignis. If I can. Target. We're gonna use Nicole to shark kick him in the face. Bam, bam. We're gonna use the Heavens Wept, and we're gonna try to do a little bit more damage on this one right here. See, that's the thing, if I had Provoke with uh, Mercenary Ramza, none of this would be happening right now. Because right now, he's, she's just gonna Berserk everybody in the team. Are we good? Are we still good? Please don't die, Ignis. Thank you. So Ignis did not die, so we're good. We're good. A little bit messed up from the fight, but we're still going good. There you go. So everybody's back to business. Alright, this is great. So we're gonna make sure we're gonna break her now. Uh, I'm gonna get 40 MP, which is great. We're gonna boost our stats by 100%. We're, this, this, I don't wanna... This, I'm gonna do it. I wanna make sure that she's still broken. 50% is really, really good, guys. Even though we're doing less damage, doesn't matter. We're gonna provoke with uh, the boy Merc Ramza. Thank you. We don't need to know that. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go Heaven's Wept. Boom. And uh, let's get some damage in there. A little bit of damage, but it's better than nothing. We just have to rebuild our MP up. You guys could do that fight with uh, messing up less than I did it. That's for sure. If uh, your character right here, your friend unit, basically as uh, Petrify resist would be really really good because you don't have to cast that uh, that move from uh, Ignis where you need to remove the uh, The petrify on the unit, but nonetheless, we're still doing not that bad. So CG Fina's back Everything's boosted by 100% So this is where we go back and restore our MP as much as possible Boom, so let's get some MP back. We're gonna cast Manitopia back onto the party which is going to be really, really useful right now, since we're going to be able to dish out a little bit more damage. Ignis, mm, I think we're going to go for cooking. I want to make sure that, can we get petrified? We will be able to get petrified. Hmm. So we're going to go for cooking either way. We're going to go Servant of the Blade. Servant and then Servant of the Blade. We're going to go the Heavens Wept. And let's get the damage going. Also, guys, if you are using a friend Orlando 7 star, it's gonna make the fight a little bit more easy since you're gonna be able to dish out a little bit more damage. But nonetheless, you guys can see with a 6 star unit, we can still do plenty of damage. And like I said before, if she's broken or attack and magic, you will be able to dish out as much damage as you need to. So our Sephiroth's still looking good. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, should I go like that? Hmm. Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna do this. 
we're, we have to do this. So we're gonna go here, boom. We're gonna go here. So we're gonna make sure we get some MP back. Do it. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna go, Nicole, you're gonna give us, actually, how's everything looking? 80, we're gonna go Manatopia. We're gonna go Manatopia first. I wanna see how much I can get back real fast. If I can chain both of them. Yep, we're gonna be good. So here's what we're gonna do. Lone Stance, we're gonna boost them, if I'm not mistaken, by 130%, both of them. So we're gonna be able to dish out a lot more damage with uh, our uh, Heo and our friend Sephiroth. Bam, let's get the chain going. And let's see how much damage we can do right here. Boom. And boom. Not that bad. 11%. We're still looking good. I think on this turn what we're going to do with Ignis, we're going to cast the big uh, the big move. So we're going to boost our attack and defense, magic and spirit by 150%. And uh, first we need to see how our MP is going to look. Hey, not that bad. Thank you Merc Ramza for all those counters. So Ignis, my boy. My boy, you're going for the big move. Royal Banke, get everything up by 150%. Nicole, you're going to go for MP and MP right here. We're going to use Manatopia one more time with uh, Lotus Mage Fina. Just to get a little bit more MP back. You guys can also use uh, Ayaka. She would be really, really good. Just with a remove uh, dedication, if I'm not mistaken, where you can uh, get some MP and HP back for the whole party. And let's see if we can kill him right now. Kill her, sorry. Let's see. Can we kill her? The damage is being dealt. Oh, come on. 1%. 1%. We should be good, guys. Either way, we're going to be good. Uh, she is not surviving turn 16, that's for sure. Maybe we're gonna kill her with the counters. Can Merc Ramza get the job done? Or the counters? Can the counters get the job done? Merc Ramza is trying so hard right now. My dude, I'm so sorry. You did not do it. So, uh, can the boy Ignis finish? You know what? We're gonna try. Where's the move? Where's the move? Where's the move? There it is. Final blow. Ignis, can you do it for us? Can you do it? Of course not. Of course not. Alright guys, let's finish this Link Stance. Let's get some MP back to the whole party so we can finish this video right now. It was a little bit longer than expected, but you know what? It's just to show you guys when the fight's going on, sometimes things don't go as uh, according to plan. But if you stay calm and you keep your strategy, everything's gonna do fine. And uh, we can just finish this fight. So we casted our Esper, which we needed. We didn't use an item, which was really important. And uh, we basically got a Seiko dead. She's done. All missions, guys. And uh, that's it. Nice and easy. She was a tricky fight just because of the MP being drained all kinds at the beginning. But you know what? Once you get your MP up and you have a good MP battery in your team, Ace would do really, really good, guys. But once you have a good MP battery in your team, it makes the fight a little bit easier and also like i said before make sure she's always broken so we did all the missions everything complete and uh yeah guys let me know down below if this video was helpful let me know your strategy who who did you use for this fight and uh i had to use ignis i had to use my boy ignis guys thank you so much for watching if you are new to this channel please subscribe down below uh down below down below and leave a like on this video. Guys, have a good one. Peace.